Hi everyone, welcome to Pharmachem Tutorials. So in this video, I will explain about various characteristic reactions of benzene. So benzene, even though it consisting of double bonds, like alkene, it does not undergo addition reactions. So generally the benzene undergoes electrophilic substitution reactions in simply name it as EAS reactions. So why this will happen is because of delocalized electrons in benzene system generally it undergoes electrophilic substitution reactions. So what is meant by electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions is the reactions in which hydrogen atom of the aromatic ring hydrogen atom of the aromatic ring is replaced by electrophile are called electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. So I repeat the reactions in which there is a replacement of hydrogen of aromatic ring with electrophile is known as electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. So I will show the reaction here. The benzene it reacts with the reagent we can name it as ENU as our reagent. In the presence of catalyst the hydrogen atom of benzene is replaced by electrophile of this reagent and finally we are getting substituted benzene. Coming to the mechanism, the mechanism of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions involves three steps. The first step is formation of electrophile. Next one is attack of electrophile on aromatic ring. And third one is loss of proton. These steps are common in case of all electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. And coming to the formation of electrophile, here whatever the reagent we are using, it combines with catalyst. By the utilization of catalyst, the reagent is dissociated into electrophile and the nucleophile is taken up by catalyst. And the formed electrophile from this step is entering into the second step. In this step, the electrophile will attack the benzene. What happens is the pi system undergoes disturb disturbed here. The double bond from this position is shift towards this carbon atom. Then this corner get a negative charge. That negative charge will attack the electrophile and finally it forms carbonium ion. Because of the shifting of this bond, the, this carbon will get a positive charge. This is we can name it as carbonium ion. Wherever the electrophile will attack, for that carbon atom we have to represent a proton. So the carbonium ion, ionic state is unstable, then it is undergoes loss of proton. How it undergoes loss of proton is the nucleophile catalyst complex which is released from the step 1. It will abstract a proton H plus. The bond between carbon and hydrogen is shift between carbon and carbon to stabilize this positive charge. And finally there is a formation of substituted benzene and the H and NU is released as HNU as well as the back release of a catalyst. So what is the role of catalyst always is it just increases the rate of chemical reaction. So these are the three important steps involved in electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Generally various electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions of benzene are five. What are those? First one is halogenation and next one is nitration and the one is sulfonation. Friedel-Craft alkylation and Friedel-Craft acylation. So those molecules which show the similar structure as like that of benzene and all those generally undergoes these five characteristic reactions. So in this video I will explain about a halogen. So coming to the halogenation, the addition of uh, the substitution of benzene with halogens is nothing but halogenation. In halogenation, here we are discussing about a chlorination. What happens is the benzene reacts with chlorine in the presence of catalyst like either FeCl3 or AlCl3 at room temperature to form chlorobenzene. 
This is the reaction. Benzene reacts with chlorine in the presence of FeCl3 or aluminum trichloride. Finally, it gives an chlorobenzene. So, hydrogen from this position is taken up by Cl minus and finally it generates an HCl. And coming to the mechanism. So, the mechanism uh, involves in three steps. The first step is formation of electrophile. How there is a formation of electrophile? Chlorine represented as Cl, single bond Cl, FeCl3, the chlorine is dissociated as Cl plus and Cl minus. This Cl minus, uh, the chlorine here along with the bond as Cl minus, it attacks the Fe. The Fe is a metal in nature, it attacks a positivity. Because of the positivity of iron, it takes the Cl minus and makes the formation of Cl plus electrophile with the formation of FeCl4 minus. And whatever the electrophile generated from this step will attack the benzene. How will it attack? By shifting the pi bond towards this carbon atom gets negative charge, this carbon gets positive charge. The negative carbon attacked by Cl plus and finally it produces carbonium ion. I already said that where the electrophile will attack for that carbon atom we have to represent a proton because in the benzene each and every corner must possess a proton. And the next step is loss of proton. In the similar way FeCl4 minus the Cl minus from FeCl4 minus will abstract the proton. Why there is a loss of proton? In order to stabilize this positive charge, the bond between carbon and hydrogen shift between carbon and carbon with the formation of chlorobenzene. The H plus it takes the Cl minus from FeCl4 minus and finally it forms FeCl3. So these are the three important steps involved in the mechanism of hallucination. Nothing but chlorination. So hope you are all understand or satisfied with this video. Thank you one and all for your attention. Thank you.